Hello and good evening. I am Shreyal D'Souza and you are watching Goa 365. Our headlines for the day. Government to install CCTVs on National Highway. Engineering Colleges to be upgraded, says Minister for Technical Education, Narvekar. Note India to file a legal suit against King Khan for smoking in public. We also have Goa this week. Those were our headlines. Now for the news in detail. The Goa government has decided to install closed-circuit cameras on National Highway 17 passing through the state from Patradevi to Kankon as well as on the main district roads with the intention to keep a track of the vehicles passing through these roads. Briefing media persons, the IT Minister Mr. Dayana Narvekar said that they had appointed an international consultancy firm Price Cooper Waterhouse as a consultant for the IT department to study various projects in the state including the installation of CCTVs on National Highway 17. We have now appointed Price Cooper Waterhouse as a consultant to government of Goa. Price Cooper Waterhouse, that is an international uh, big uh, consultancy firm. The entire IT department is now interested for project with the Price Water Cooper House. Mr. Narvekar told us more about this project which is coming to Goa, which is very important for the security point of view, is to have closed circuit camera through national highways linking north to south Goa and the district roads. That project is in offing. Where also we are trying to get a PPP uh, mode or if you, people are not coming, it may be a government project. He also listed out the advantages of installing CCTVs on highways. Project is the movement of vehicles crossing the border, coming into Goa, exiting of those vehicles, number one. Number two, evasion of uh, excise and VAT on the border check post. Number three, to help the detection of crime, because when uh, you put it at the cross point, you will be able to know how many cars, vehicles have passed from one side to another. Further speaking, he said that they would get funds from the central government for hiring consultants for the IT department. Central government is giving money for uh, every consultancy you appoint. Central government is also sponsoring some money for consultancy part. So this is a consultancy which is recognized by the central government in IT sector. So we are now going to give all the projects to them and get it vetted and rooted from them. He also said that the central government, while appreciating the good work done by the IT department, had sanctioned 35 crores for the upgradation of data centers in the state. For data center and uh, portal, central government has uh, appreciated what work we have done by so far, by 3i, and they have sanctioned 35 crores for upgradation of data center. So this is coming as a subsidy. The Minister for Technical Education, Mr. Dayanand Narvekar, said that they have increased the budget allocation for Goa Engineering Colleges by an additional 5 crores. This year we have increased the budget of Goa Engineering Colleges at Farmagudi, which is roughly is to be about 8 crores is richer by about 5 crores, richer, richer by 5 crores in this, in, yeah, in the budget. He gave us the reason behind increasing the budget for these colleges. He said that the additional budget would be utilized for upgradation of engineering colleges and the pharmacy college. Because uh, the engineering college requires a lot of infrastructure for um, development of those buildings which are not painted for many years, toilets are not in proper shape. So we have now started looking after engineering college in a big way. Similarly, uh, previously uh, pharmacy college is also is going through upgradation. Further speaking, Mr. Narvekar said that they had decided to hike the pay scale of lecturers and was waiting for the decision of the central government on the 6th pay commission. I also proposed to them that I increase their pay scale so that uh, we are just waiting for the 6 pay commission to see what increase yes, they give. What and thereafter uh, we will also try to increase their pay scale, otherwise we will not get people. 
The National Organization for Tobacco Eradication is to file a legal suit against the superstar and owner of Kolkata Knight Riders, Shah Rukh Khan, for smoking on the grounds during the match against the Rajasthan Royals. Which I should really go ahead with my plans to file a suit against him, which we are preparing maybe in another few days we will be filing against him. Like to, you know, by how they have fought against Mr. Bachchan, we have to go in JFMC. Briefing media persons, General Secretary of Note India, Dr. Shekhar Salkar, said that he was referring to the photo published by a leading national daily, which showed Khan smoking a cigarette on the ground. Four or five days back, Saruk was shown smoking. <coughs> when they lost uh, against, I think, Rajasthan Royal. He also disclosed that there was no rule in India which permitted anyone to have a smoking zone on the ground, nor can anyone create smoking zones. And as per the rules and regulation, it is very clear now that stadium is tobacco, uh, you know, it's like no tobacco zone. Which stadium this? This is, I think, uh, one KD stadium. This is again Bombay, Bombay area. Bombay. And you cannot create a smoking zone there. I am quite sure when we ask this question to him, he will say I was smoking in an area which was a smoking zone. But as per the government, smoking zone could be created only in two areas. One is at the airport and the second one is in the hotels which has got more than 35 rooms capacity. Further speaking, Dr. Salkar said that they were aghast to see Shane Vaughan, captain of the Rajasthan Royals, smoking on the ground which according to him would send wrong signals to young players. Actually, Shah Rukh Khan is sitting in the audience. He is playing the match, he is himself playing the match and he is smoking. So where is he smoking exactly? This is on his uh, Delhi, on the Delhi, Delhi the Daredevil versus Rajasthan Royal match. This has come on 21st Hindustan Times, actually I have got it is only on my mobile. You all can see this picture actually, I wanted to show it on here but he also said that they have already written a letter to the Commissioner of IPL, Mr. Lalit Modi, demanding an investigation on the lines of doping against Vaughan. I have written a very strong letter to Lalit Modi, who is the Commissioner of this IPL, and I want him to complain to ICC regarding this, because secret okay. can yeah. be a, you know, yeah. very de uh, deceptive, because there may be something else in that secret. Who knows? There is already so much of uh, doping and all this, uh, you know, this are going on in this IPL. I have demanded that anti-doping squad should be sent to Mr. Shah Rukh, uh, the Shane. Shane Wall and see that this cigarette does not contain any doping inside. We will spill into a commercial break. Stay with us.